Hey there and welcome to Info World. Today's video is about 10 most expensive cars in the world. So let's get started. The vast majority of people can only dream of owning expensive supercars or luxury models. The average cost of a new car is around £30,000 but that probably wouldn't buy a new door mirror for the world's most expensive cars in this list. These incredible expensive cars are beyond sports cars, beyond supercars, and are best described as either hypercars or megacars. The world's most expensive car is the Rolls-Royce Boat Tail. The Rolls-Royce Boat Tail is a mid-sized luxury coach-built Grand Tourer car made by Rolls-Royce Motor Cars. It is the world's most expensive street-legal new car at US $28 million. It was designed Daniel Koenigs. The car was designed by the company's specialized coach-build division at its Goodwood plant, reinterpreting the 1,910 seconds Rolls-Royce Limited Boat Tail car design. It draws aesthetic inspiration from yachts of the 1920s and 1930s. The car shares its chassis and engine with the Rolls-Royce Phantom, but has 1,813 bespoke parts, including five electronic control units in the rear deck. The first car features matching pairs of men's and women's watches manufactured by Bobbitt Fleurier, which include a tiny sculpture of the car in the dial. The car has a bespoke Bose Corporation sound system which uses the car's floor structure as a resonance chamber. The car includes a Montblanc pen housed in a handcrafted case inside the glove box. The instrument panel dials feature Gillutch decorative work, powered by a 6.75 N74B68 twin turbocharged V12 petrol engine. Coming up next is Bugatti La Voiture Noire. The design of the car harkens back to the Type 57 SC Atlantic. The car has a hand-built body made from carbon fiber designed by Bugatti designer Etienne Salom which has an elongated nose similar to that on the Devo, and an elongated rear section. Other notable features include unique wing mirrors, lead taillight strip, and wheels. Unlike the original, the car has a mid-engine layout. The Le Voiture Noir will be powered by the same 8.0-liter quad-turbocharged W16 engine from the Chiron having the same power output figures, but the 7-speed dual-clutch gearbox and the all-wheel drive system. The car features six exhaust pipes recalling the innovative design of the past. The car was sold for a price of $18.68 million, making it one of the most expensive cars. A trim piece running from the front of the car to the rear spoiler recalls the dorsal fin present on the Type 57 SC. The car features a floating windscreen and has masked a pillars. The Le Voiture Noir shares large design similarities from the Bugatti Rembrandt, a cancelled front-engine Grand Tour powered by the Chiron's W16 engine. The third most expensive car is Bugatti Cento Dicei. The car is a homage to the Bugatti EB110 and a celebration of the Bugatti Mark's 110th birthday. The Cento Dicei is 20 kilograms lighter than the Bugatti Chiron and has a 8,000cc quad turbocharged W16 engine, rated at 1,578 horsepower at 7 revolutions per minute. It has a 7-speed dual-clutch transmission production of the Cento Dicei was limited to 10 units priced at 9 million euros. It's a two-door coupe with a mid-engine, all-wheel drive configuration. The car takes design cues from the EB110 such as the five-round air intakes which resemble a diamond and the wedge-shaped design language. A small horseshoe radiator grille present below the headlamps further harkens back to the EB110. Narrow headlights with LED daytime running function and sharp grooves are used to create an aggressive appearance. The rear consists of eight taillights along with matte black quad exhaust pipes placed on either side of a large diffuser, complete with an underbody spoiler and a fixed overhanging rear wind. The Cento Dicei is capable of accelerating from 0 to 100 km per hour in 2.4 seconds, with a top speed electronically limited to 380 km per hour, and has a curb weight of 1. 976 kg.10 units of the Cento Dicei were produced for customers. On the 19th of December 2022, the 10th and last Bugatti Cento Dicei was delivered. Up next is Bugatti Devo. The Bugatti Devo is a mid-engine track-focused sports car developed and manufactured by Bugatti Automobiles SAS. The car is named after French racing driver Albert Devo who raced for Bugatti in the 1920s winning the Targa Florio race twice. The car includes a redesigned exhaust system featuring quad exhaust pipes, a 1.8-meter wide fixed rear wing 23% wider than the retractable wing on the Chiron, an NACA duct on the roof that channels air to the rear of the car on a central fin and ultimately on the rear wing for improved downforce, a large front chin spoiler, more refined side skirts, larger air intakes on the front, new headlamps and tail lamps, a vent in the bonnet for improved radiator cooling and vents on the front wheel arches to cool the brakes. Other notable changes include stiffer springs and dampers, carbon fiber wiper blades and intercooler shroud, grooved wheel spokes, reduced sound insulation, a lighter sound system and removal of the storage lockers present in the doors and center console for a weight saving of 35 kilograms over the Chiron Sport. 
The engine, a quad-turbocharged W16 unit, is retained from the Chiron along with the 7-speed dual-clutch transmission. The car is 8.0 seconds quicker than the Chiron around the Nardo test track according to the manufacturer and generates 456 kilograms of downforce at top speed, 90 kilograms more than the Chiron. It costs about 4.8 million pounds. Up next is the Bugatti Ballide. The Bugatti Ballide is a track day focused sports car developed by Bugatti Engineering GmbH in Wolfsburg, Germany and manufactured in Malsheim by French automobile manufacturer Bugatti Automobile SAS. The Ballide's name comes from the term Le Ballide, which literally means the racing car in French. The fundamental concept of the Ballide is based on a technical draft of Bugatti chief engineer and technical guru Frank Gotsk. The Ballide is built using the framework of the same 8 liter quad turbo W16 engine and the 7-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission used in the Chiron. Although upgrades to the W16 engine allow the Ballide to generate over 1,360 kW and 1,850 Nm of torque, 207 kW more than the Chiron Super Sport 300+, this increase in power can be attributed to bigger blades in the turbochargers and the different orientation of the turbochargers themselves. Bugatti announced the Ballide would be the last car ever made with their W16 engine, combining the fact that the curb weight of the car is only only one, 240 kilograms. The main influence on the Ballide's light curb weight is due to the monocoque and all of its components constructed with titanium, along with nearly all of the body panels constructed in carbon fiber. Donning the aggressive design language of an LMP1 race car, including the signature X shape, the aerodynamics of the Ballide help it generate more than two, 630 kilograms of downforce at 320 kilometers per hour. The air scoop of the Ballide is home to a group of dimples, similar to what one finds in a golf ball, that raise up at high speeds, smoothing the laminar flow of air and reducing the aerodynamic drag of the scoop by 10%, and a reduction in lift forces by 17%, according to Bugatti. It price is estimated about $4.7 million. The sixth most expensive car is Pagani Huera Roadster BC, introduced in July 2019. The Huera Roadster BC, often mistakenly called the Huera BC Roadster, is the track-oriented version of the Roadster. It shares few aerodynamic parts as present on the BC and has a modified version of the 6.0-liter twin-turbocharged V12 engine rated at 791 horsepower and 1,050 Nm of torque. The 7-speed extract sequential gearbox with single clutch used on the Roadster is 35% lighter than a contemporary dual-clutch gearbox. The Huera Roadster BC sits at 1, 250 kg which is slightly heavier than the coupe, with a dry weight of 1, 217 kg it is 30 kg lighter than the Huera Roadster 1, 280 kg The monocoque of the Roadster BC is constructed of carbon-titanium HP62 material to keep weight low and make the construction rigid. The Roadster BC is claimed to generate 500 kg of downforce at 280 km per hour due to its large fixed rear wing and aerodynamic elements. In addition to movable active aero elements, the titanium exhaust incorporates flaps in the catalytic converters to divert exhaust gases over the underfloor elements like a Formula One car's blown diffuser. Production of the Huera Roadster BC will be limited to 40 units only. It costs about $4 million. Coming up is a Ston Martin Valkyrie Ammer Pro. The track-only variant of the Valkyrie called the Valkyrie Ammer Pro was introduced at the 2018 Geneva Motor Show. Only 25 units will be produced, all of which have already been sold. The Ammer Pro uses a 6.5-liter naturally aspirated V12 engine as used in the Valkyrie road car without the KERS system. The engine will also be modified, which means the Ammer Pro will have up to 1,100 horsepower. The Ammer Pro uses smaller 18 inches wheels at the front and rear. This is to allow the Michelin racing tires to fit the car, with F1 inspired carbon carbon brakes to aid braking performance. The air conditioning system and infotainment screens have been removed and have been replaced with racing counterparts. The car will be able to generate 3.3 grams lateral force during cornering and 3.5 grams during braking. Its top speed is intended to be higher than the road car, at 402 km per hour. The car's exhaust will have very minimal parts to silence the engine. It costs around 3, 5 million dollars. Up next is Lamborghini Cyan Roadster. The name Cyan comes from a Balinese word which means a flash of lightning. The Lamborghini Cyan Roadster is a limited-edition hybrid supercar that was first introduced in 2020. The Cyan Roadster is powered by a hybrid drivetrain that consists of a 6.5-liter V12 engine and a 48-volt electric motor. The V12 engine produces 774 horsepower, while the electric motor contributes an additional 34 horsepower, bringing the total output to 808 horsepower. 
The Scion Roadster uses a 7-speed independent shifting rod automatic transmission, which is operated via steering wheel mounted paddle shifters. The Scion Roadster has a top speed of over 350 km per hour. The Scion Roadster can accelerate from 0 to 100 km per hour in just 2.8 seconds. The Scion Roadster features carbon ceramic brakes, which provide excellent stopping power. It can come to a stop from 100 km per hour in just 30 meters. The Scion Roadster's electric motor is powered by a supercapacitor, which is said to be three times more powerful than a traditional lithium-ion battery. The supercapacitor provides a power boost to the V12 engine during acceleration, and it can also power the car in electric-only mode for short distances. The Scion Roadster features a striking design that incorporates many aerodynamic elements, such as a large rear spoiler and an active air intake system. The body is made of lightweight materials, such as carbon fiber, to minimize weight and improve performance. Each unit is custom-built to the buyer's specifications and is priced at over $3 million. Ninth most expensive car in the world is Bugatti Chiron Super Sport 300 Plus. On the 8th of September 2019, Bugatti presented a limited production high-performance variant of the Chiron called the Chiron Super Sport 300 Plus to owners taking part in the company's 110th anniversary tour in Europe. The variant is limited to 30 examples at a net unit price of 3.5 million euros. The car is powered by a 1,580 horsepower quad turbocharged W16 engine shared with the Bugatti Cento Dicei, nicknamed Thor. This car has a gray Bugatti logo made of black enamel and silver, the exhaust system from the Cento Dicei, a modified gearbox with longer ratios and front and rear bumpers optimized for aerodynamics at high speed, resulting in the overall length increase of the car by 248.9 mm. The Super Sport 300 Plus will also be equipped with a top speed limiter, akin to the one found in the standard. Chiron. Without the limiter, Bugatti claims that the car can attain a maximum speed in excess of 483 km per hour. Bugatti will also prepare the cars of owners who want to take the car to its full potential at the Era Lessian test track. The first eight were delivered in September 2021. The last most expensive car is Bugatti Chiron Per Sport. On the 3rd of March 2020, Bugatti introduced the Chiron Per Sport, a handling-focused model which will be limited to 60 units. The tachometer has an additional 200 revolutions per minute, increasing the red line to 6, 900 revolutions per minute. 80% of the transmission has been revised for a 15% closer gear ratio spread benefiting the power band. The Per Sport is 50 kilograms lighter than the standard Chiron due to a lightweight 3D printed titanium exhaust, a fixed rear spoiler and extensive use of Alcantara, anodized aluminium and titanium on the interior. The wheels have special spokes called aero blades which are designed to channel turbulent air near the wheel down the side of the vehicle to the rear diffuser. The tires are Michelin Sport Cup 2R increasing lateral grip by 10% and were co-developed with Michelin. To improve handling, the springs were made 65% stiffer at the front and 33% at the rear, aided by revised damper tuning and wheel camber along with additional front and rear carbon fiber anti-roll bars and a new Sport Plus drive mode. Production of the Per Sport is expected to start in late 2020. The first car was delivered to the owner in United States in January 2021. The 30th Chiron Per Sport has been delivered to its owner on the 1st of December 2022, marking the production reaches the halfway point. That's all about the 10 most costly cars of the world. See you soon.